Hello everybody and welcome to another Blender video tutorial. Uh, in this video I'm going to be modeling a very simple desk and I have to say that my kids are playing in the back room so it's going to be a casual video and we may hear some interference but as long as they're happy. All right I'm going to select everything in the scene and X delete start with a brand new screen. All right so my screencast keys are down here and I'll try to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to press 7 to look from the top orthographic view and start making this desk I'm going to bring in a plane so shift a mesh plane and before I do anything I'm going to tab into edit mode and I've got my vertices selected that's great I'm in this mode right here I'm going to press sx and scale it out and very likely we're going to have to tweak this so we'll just start with that and with those vertices selected I want to round the corners so I'm going to press shift control b shift control b and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to pull. I'm holding shift because it makes makes the action slower. So it splits it into two. I'm going to roll my mouse up. Let me go in actually a little bit closer for this. And just focus on one corner for you. Shift control B, hold shift, pull. It separates and I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel up. One, that's three vertices, two, three. I want a total of five and a nice round curve like that. Okay, so A to select it all. And let's give this some depth. So E to extrude and just gesture up in the Z direction. Do something like that for the top. Okay, now for this desk, I'm going to be using some of this to make pieces that uh, other pieces. So go into wireframe and press B and border select. Uh, actually, we're gonna need the whole thing. Now that I think about it, we'll do we'll do that. I'm going to Shift D and S to scale. And I want to separate this out. So P is separate by selection. So I now have this piece. And if I hide it, I have this piece. Let's just take this and move it down and Alt H to bring the other piece back. Okay, so I want to use this piece. I'm still going to look down from the top and go into wireframe and into edit mode. And I'm going to scale it in the Y a little bit. Sort of want to get it even here. Then I'm going to grab these and pull them over like this. Now just to get a sense of what, what we're seeing here, you know, that piece is under there. Now I, I want this piece rounded like this, but I don't want this piece. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. So I'm going to straighten these out in the X direction by pressing SX0. And at this point, I want to get rid of all these vertices here and all of that. So I'm going to press 3 for face selection and C for paint select. And then I can just kind of go over these I don't want that one I can get all these turn around yeah X faces I want those out of there but press 1 these vertices are still here so I'm going to select these vertices and it'll take me a minute to get them all I want to get all the right ones and we're going to get rid of these we're going to dissolve them not just delete them I'll show you what I mean there we go okay X choose dissolve vertices they're gone and now I can take this, press 2 for edge selection, shift, alt, and click, and F to make a face. Now I'm going to curve that again in a second, but just to get an idea of what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to select in face selection this top face and pull it up. And I'm going to select this bottom face and press 1 to look from the front. And this is going to come down. And I just want to get a sense for where I want this. Something like that. And I might make it longer. So let's just focus on that by pressing the slash key. Come up here. We're not going to see this top face or this bottom face. So X faces, delete them. And then I'm going to select in, I just press two to go to edge selection. This edge and this edge. And I'm going to bevel that again. We had a big bevel before. I just want a smaller bevel. Pull. I don't even need five. I rolled back and now I'm just going to roll out. So I have three segments in there. Just like that. Okay. I just want to double check that that's not facing the wrong way and it's not. It's okay. Okay, so we're going to work on this again in a minute. Let's continue to bevel this. Let's go into edit mode and three for face selection. Select the top, hold shift and select the bottom. And we can bevel this. Control B, pull just with three. That's good like that. Okay, we'll deal with the fastening and stuff later. So this piece is here and that's going to be fine. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this piece, I might scale it in the X just a little bit. That's fine, whether you do that or not. I'm going to take this and I'm going to Shift D to duplicate it and 
pull it over here, and I'm going to rotate Z 180 so it's facing the other way. So the curve is on the outside and the curve is on the outside. And what I need to do, I'm going to select a piece of this and control L. That'll select it all. I want to move it so that I can put some drawers in here. So as you can see, we're going to have to adjust this. So something like that. So let's now take this, let's see, let's take this and, uh, yeah, we'll just do the table. Okay. So let's go into edit mode and border select and just pull it down a lot further. And then let's also grab all of this. Just make sure you get all these vertices in the curve. You don't want to select just that much. You want to get that. I'm going to just change the, the sort of dimensions of the table a little bit, which means I would have to change these a little bit, but that's fine because I'm actually going to be getting rid of the back. We're not going to see it. So let's see if I select this one and this one and I control plus a little bit and eh, it's not going to work that way. It's not a good way. So look from the side and go into wireframe, press one for vertex selection, grab these, pull them back a ways and we're actually going to get rid of those faces so go x faces and that has gotten rid of that and because we're not going to see the back and that looks sort of okay um, i might make the table a little thicker like that and then just put that there now let's select the whole table here it still may not be quite wide enough or deep enough. Mm. Eh, we don't have to get this perfect, but just, I don't know, something like that. And then we come back to these guys and select these back edges and just pull them back a little ways. Okay, let's select the table top and shift S cursor to select it. That'll bring the 3D cursor right in the middle of it. And now I can use that to mirror this. And I may still need to make some adjustments. So let's set the origin to the 3D cursor. Come over here, add modifier, generate, mirror. Yeah, okay, I need to do a little bit of work still on this. So we're gonna come back in here. I still need to lengthen this table out. So there's more room. Let's just take these ones and they're not all, let's see, let's straight. let's straighten them. S Y zero. That's better. Select them all, pull them over. So I have room in the middle. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And don't worry, we'll lengthen the table out. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to try that and see how, how it goes. So there's definitely a lot of tweaking going on here. So we got that. Let's see how she's looking. Okay. Let's, uh, I think I think I need to move those over there. And I'm gonna take this one, Control L, look from the front. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more room. I want this a little bit wider than this. Okay, good enough. Let's let's go on and see uh, what this is doing. Uh, it's actually quite simple from here, here on. In fact, let's take the whole thing and just lift it up like that. And see if I can sh um, shift C, bring the 3D cursor back today. Okay, let's bring in a plane now. Bring it over here and rotate X90. Pull it up. We're going to use this to make the drawers. So I'm just going to pull it, not till it's all the way out. Something like that. And I'm going to border select and just pull this until it looks you know, roughly e equal on both sides. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it down. And that's good. Let's see. And we're going to mirror this, so, uh, and these are mirrored, right? Yeah, we'll do a lot of mirroring. So let's set the origin to the 3D cursor and generate a mirror. Okay, that's looking good. And let me double check. Let's put the cavity shader on there. It's gonna be better. And let's try it with Shade Smooth. And this one, right click Shade Smooth. And we'll get some shading errors. And so what we'll do for that is add modifiers, normal, weighted normal and these look okay for the time being the only thing is uh, i want to uh set the origin to the 3d cursor for these again they were in the wrong position so there we go good uh and i still feel like i want to come in here and, and move these over a little bit Mm, 
we go. Okay. I can look at that for now. Can I? No, I'm going to make this desk a little a little less narrow. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to come in here and do what I did before. Take this, 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 and this, and move it back. Now, now I think I got the dimensions that I want. Okay. So to make the actual drawers, it's actually going to be very simple what I'm going to do. Select this edge, Shift D to duplicate and pull it out. P to break it out. So that's a separate piece now. Scale it a little bit. We're just going to make dividers actually. So I'm going to press E to extrude, pull up a little bit like that. Extrude backwards a little bit. And then we're going to get rid of this back face. No one's going to see it. Three for face selection. We're going to get rid of that side face and that side face. No one's going to see those either. And then now we're going to take this and this and we're going to bevel it. Control B, pull. I just want three like that. Let's start pulling it back in. And this is actually going to go. We're going to get try to do three drawers if we can. Do that just before I move on. And you'll notice it's mirrored, which is good. Let's just see what's backwards. Just these? Wow. Okay. Let's try this. I'm going to add an array over here to those. So generate array, but I'm going to go in the Z direction. So come down to the Z, hold shift, and just pull to the left a little bit. Make sure it's going down. Okay, let's zero out the X. Okay, so we're going to come down a little ways. And I'm going to want three of these. Uh, that gives me actually two with the top one. Okay, so I'm going to pull this whole thing down. I want a little piece down here. I might make that right now. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to shift D to duplicate these. And I'm going to get rid of the array. So I've got just the one. I'm going to look from the front, go into wireframe, and one for vertex selection and sort of border select there hold shift border select there pull it up I want like a plate like a metal plate that would go there and that's a separate piece now that's going to go there it doesn't have to go right to the very bottom something like that and then now I can look at this here and just adjust it so that maybe I could get three drawers and a little piece up there yeah and and I'm going to take this again I'm going to shift D to duplicate it pull it up P to break it out and get rid of the array on that one and this piece I'm just going to scale in the Z I just want it a little thinner and just have just another design thing up there is that what I want we'll see one two three yeah we'll see if I like that or not uh, maybe even a little thinner okay now let's take this piece and make it a little bit taller And let's also take it, Shift D to duplicate, G, drag it over, P to break it out. And it has a mirror, just get rid of the mirror. And take it and, and just push it in, make sure it's going to be in. Now I'm going to move it in a minute. And let's grab this side and pull that in. And then I'm going to pull this back. And it's going to form sort of like a drawer. It may be a drawer or not, I'm not sure, or a design thing. Just want that in there, but I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to wireframe and border select and just drag it down, something like that. Okay, now I want to focus on this piece. And I'm going to get rid of a little bit of this stuff here. I'm going to select this edge at the top. And then go to Control Plus a couple times to expand my selection. Get rid of those faces and take this edge and just pull it out and then come back slash key so this still has a bevel although I kind of would like a bigger bevel so you know what I'm going to actually dissolve those edges dissolve edge take that edge and bevel it again so it's a little bit bigger okay now this one here this edge here we could take and we could pull it back. We could pull it back to the same distance as that. And the way we do that is turn on snap to edge and just pull it and then press control as you hover over here over one of these edges. And now, you know, if you happen to have a shot like that, it looks like it goes all the way back. So you can make this as, as long as you want. 
as, and as big as you want. But let's leave that there for the time being. Okay, and let's focus on some handles so this looks a little bit more like a like a table here. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's just take an edge from here. I do this all the time. Take a piece that's in the vicinity. Shift D to duplicate, pull it up. Still got a mirror on it. I want my first drawer here. Scale it like a filing cabinet handle, but we're gonna break it out, P to break it out. I can leave the mirror on. Take this and press E to extrude and pull back until it hits. And then X edges, that'll just leave the outline like that. Press one for vertex selection to make sure these two are selected. That might be too wide actually. I'm gonna scale this in the X a little bit smaller, maybe like that. Take those two and to bevel them, go Shift Control B hold shift and pull and there's three vertices but I'm going to go up to five let's do it like that okay and now with that done that actually might be too round for what I'm doing but we'll try it E to extrude pull up give it some height like that and before I do the next thing I want to check to see you see the way some of it's blue and some of it's red that's what I expected alt n recalculate outside it's blue outside now. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, and with that done, I can either use Solidify or just go E, left click, Alt S, and push or pull. I guess I'll push and it'll move them out and just get the thickness of the handle that you want. Something like that. Slash key to focus on it. And you can turn off the mirror if you want. Select that in period key to zoom in. And let's go into face selection number three and select that face and that face and delete those faces. Two for edge selection, shift alt and click all of these edges, top and bottom. Give it a little bevel with three. I'm going to roll back. There's two, three, something like that. You can do a shade smooth. <laughs> My kids. And uh, this is what we have now. I may move that in. And then if you want, you can shift alt and click these edges, pull them back. You just don't want them poking through on the other side. So we have that and uh yeah now the only thing is i might make it a bit bigger scale in the z yeah you you are definitely gonna hear my kids okay so we got that so let's go into edit mode and shift d to duplicate and just drag it down i don't have to do it exactly okay so that's that now i can turn the mirror back on and we have this but what i may end up doing is joining this stuff so this one has a mirror I'm going to take the mirror off on this and I'm going to just control J and join it and then they'll be copied over to there. And we pretty much have our desk. I don't know that I like this piece. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to see if I want to bring this one up as well. Maybe not the, you know the exact same height and stuff like that kind of like that I don't know what do you think let's try uh, just a matte cap like that let's switch this over to both and drag these up a little bit that'll give us some shadowy kind of effects and we'll also turn on the shadow and see what we think all right yeah and that is pretty much our desk uh, nothing is flipped, right? And we have that. It's roughly on the ground. And I don't think I would get rid of this back. That's a little bit weird uh, because you might see it from here and you want that curve. So I think we've done what we need to do. Um, you could possibly get rid of that, but um, I, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, so I will make this model available on the zero bio patreon for anyone who wants it um and uh we will do some texturing of this in a bit there is one last thing as i look at this that i would like to fix up and that is i feel like this front is a little bit too far out let's just see if that helped me at all um i think it's probably fine so yeah the model will be available if you want to see it or want to you know make some changes to it uh, if you want to try unwrapping it yourself, whatever, and we'll do some texturing in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching.